sprinting itself is a good stimulus and it's a good way to stimulate the hamstring in a very, very specific condition. Because if you do Nordic exercises, if you do eccentric strengthening, that's fine. You will target the muscle force, but you will be totally out of context compared to sprint running. Because when you sprint, you have the um, knee extension velocity, the hip flexion velocity, the muscle contraction velocity that's super high, very, very much higher than during uh, strengthening exercises. And some studies have shown that the EMG, the muscular activity at the hamstring is very high and it's maximum when you sprint. And when you do exercises, you only have 40 to 60% of that maximum um, activation intensity at the muscles. So it means there's no other way to stimulate the hamstrings specifically than by doing sprinting. So the conclusion here is this. If you do some sprinting at a good dose, not too much, not uh, too few sprints per week, for example, you have the good stimulus. And if you sprint at a high velocity, you also have a good stimulus. But I agree, you also have sprinting at maximum velocity as a risk. But in my opinion, uh, you should not say it's a risk, so I don't do it. Because if you say that, you will de-adapt the players. And one day, because there is a game and because there is a sprint during the game, they will have an issue. We also say you play like you train. So it means if you don't train sprinting enough, you will have an issue when there will be some sprints during the game. All right. The final point I want to make here is that be careful. My message is not sprint, sprint, sprint and do more, do more, do more. It's also see how the players sprint. What is their sprinting mechanics and what is their um, pattern when they sprint? Because if the pattern is um, wrong, biomechanically speaking, for example, if you have a lot of trunk flexion, if you have uh, some uh, overstepping during the contact, etc., etc., then you might have a biomechanical issue. And when you repeat the sprints, you increase the problem instead of solving the problem. So I would say as a conclusion, stimulate the sprint function, really. Do it a bit more if you don't do it enough, but do it on the basis of players sprinting correctly. And how to define what is correct? You can ask a track and field coach to come and give help. You can follow the works, for example, of uh, Johan Lati on Twitter. He's a PhD student working on that. And make sure that players sprint enough, not more, but enough. And um, basically the study tend to show that if you go to your maximum velocity between six and 10 times per week, you're in a, let's say, safer zone, even if we need more study on that. But in my opinion, you should do that.